Hello, welcome to another toadstool inspired video. Today I'm going to be making toadstool Christmas tree decorations out of fabric. I have become a little toadstool obsessed lately and I even made a toadstool costume for Halloween. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it below. Anyway, for this project I cut three different sized circles out of thin cardboard. You could make them all the same, but I wanted each one to be different, just like they would be if you saw them growing in the wild. Then I cut a slit in each one so I could make a curved top. I taped each one in place then covered the top with a generous amount of PVA glue. Once covered in glue, I placed a layer of polyfill on top and left it to dry. Then I started to work on the underside of the toadstool. I used a loose weave cotton fabric like cheesecloth or gauze and hand stitched down one side so I could gather it. Then I stitched the ends together creating a circle. Next, I glued each fabric circle to the underside of the toadstool cap with PVA glue. I trimmed off the excess fabric and left it to dry. To cover the caps I used red velvet fabric that was left over from my toadstool hat. I didn't want to waste any scraps and this is the perfect project to use up any leftover fabric you may have lying around. I folded the edges over and hand stitched them in place, securing them to the underlayer.
Once the cap is complete, I put my needle up through the center and stitched on a jump ring. This is so you can attach a string later on, so make sure it's nice and secure. The next part is my favourite part, the decorating. I hand stitched on a variety of sequins, beads and other embellishments. I stuck to mostly white, gold and red, but you could use any colour you want. I love making Christmas crafts, but I often get very stressed and busy this time of year and never have time to do all of the Christmas projects I want to do, like making handmade Christmas cards or baking. I'm glad I found the time to make these though, because they are absolutely beautiful and make our Christmas tree look extra whimsical and magical. I also start to look forward to the new year and I'm excited to start getting organised and setting goals. One thing I love to do in December is to buy a new calendar and decorate my new diary ready for the new year. At the end of this video I'll show you how I decorated my diary ready for 2023. But first, let's finish these toadstools.
Once I had bejeweled the living daylights out of the toadstool caps, I started working on the stems. I took a piece of cotton fabric with a decorative trim edge and folded it over to make the frill. You could do this separately with some lace, but I figured doing it this way would be quick and easy, and I was in a hurry to get these finished in time. I think it worked pretty well. Once I got the proportions right, I pinned the fabric in half and sketched where I wanted to sew. I machine stitched this part, then trimmed off the excess fabric and turned inside out. This part was super fiddly, as I made the stem too narrow. But with the power of editing, I made it look effortless, when in fact it wasn't. Then I took more polyfill and stuffed the stems, using a chopstick to push it all the way to the bottom. I was going to leave them like this, but I decided to use some old fabric to wrap around the bottom to look like roots. Next, I glued the stems in place. A hot glue gun would have worked better, but I used Yoohoo glue, then reinforced it with more glue. Once completely dry, I attach some gold thread to hang them with.
hope you enjoyed this little craft video. Stick around to the end if you're interested in seeing how I decorated my 2023 diary with stickers. I recently bought a Leuchtturm 1917 weekly planner diary. I usually buy a moleskin, but I could not resist this pale lilac one. It's pretty similar to the moleskin, and I will show you the main differences between the two brands. But first, let's decorate. I personally like the hardback diaries better than the soft cover ones. This one here is a hardback and it has an elastic band as well as two bookmarks and a pocket in the back. This one also came with a pull out index book. It has some blank pages in the back and calendars and other information in the front. This is my favourite layout for a diary, with the week on one side and a ruled page on the other for notes or to-do lists. If you have a favourite diary, let me know what it is below. I love to know what other people like using. To decorate it, I'm using stickers from the Antiquarian sticker book. I absolutely love this book and use it all the time for making cards or decorating presents. It has over a thousand stickers in it. There is such a variety of different images that you will never get bored of this book. There are butterflies and flowers, animals and lots of weird and bizarre things too. It's almost a shame to take them out of the book, but then where would the fun in that be? My only issue with these stickers is that they are not very sticky. They work well on paper, but they don't stick well to glossier surfaces like this diary. I will probably end up gluing them down when they start to lift up. Or I might cover it in clear plastic. Oh look, a sneaky toadstool. Where did he come from? Let's put him on the back. Now I'm all set for the new year. Do you have any new year's resolutions? 
I don't generally set myself any, just general goals, but let me know in the comments below if it's something you do. As promised, here is the comparison with the Moleskine Diary. The Moleskine is on the right hand side and you can see the format is slightly different and the ink is a bit darker, otherwise they are pretty similar. Here you can see my 2022 diary. Sadly, all but two of the stickers have peeled off. I love this little creepy monkey dude. The other sticker is actually one of my own. I hope to print more stickers in the future, so let me know if it's something you would be interested in. This one has a slightly more vinyl-like surface and sticks really well. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow. I hope you all have a safe and happy Christmas, and I'll see you in the new year. Bye bye.